But oh, oh, we got got to go, go slow. I'm sorry. You got admission into UBC? Yeah, yes, sir. Vancouver under graduation. Which which sir? Which session? Uh, arts, sir. School of Arts, Economics, majoring in economics. So which uh, means uh, January of 2020. No sir, um, in 2019 only I got in the normal session September starting one. Oh September of the, just yeah, about yeah. two months ago. Yeah. Okay. Okay. I was uh, supposed to go, but so that so then our uh, our school school counselor she recommended you know she recommended us to go to um, a consultancy. So uh, like all all the Canada students like all the Canada students from our school we went to that consultancy. So then all of us applied uh, through her early, and all of our uh, Canada visas got rejected the first time. Oh um, wait a second! Wait a second! Yes. Wait, wait a second! You got the admission for UBC. Yes. Yeah, uh, in uh, BA of Arts, so BA what? Yeah. BA. Yes, sir. BA. BA. Yes. Okay. But somebody told you to go to a consultant in Hyderabad. You are. That's where are you? Uh, Hyderabad, sir. You are in Hyderabad. So somebody, yes, sir. somebody. Uh, wait a second. Somebody told you to go through a consultant to apply for the study visa. Yes, yeah, sir. Uh, who is this consultant now? Maybe they are making money through com- commissions or something. I want to know why is <laughs> yeah, this so consultant that, in that's, into the picture. That's that's what we thought, sir. Because okay. like our, our counselor, our school counselor, she recommended all of us to go to that consultant. That yeah. consultancy only. So all yeah, of us went to that. Yeah, sir. Okay. Yeah, so that's that's so how many people were applying? How many? So uh, to Canada from our school, including me, um, four, sir. No, no, four. five, five. Four, five, and five. And all the five got rejected. All five got rejected, sir. Wow! And what was the reason? <laughs> uh, that we we didn't uh, provide enough financial evidence. Yeah, yeah. So, uh, and uh, tell me, what are the financial evidence that you submitted with the application? Uh, the first time, sir, we submitted. Um, we only submitted the bank loan, sir. A bank, bank loan. Okay. Yeah, only much, a bank how loan. How much bank loan did you get? Twenty uh, lakhs, sir. Okay, and but you did not do a, like a GIC. Uh, no, sir, not GIC. She said uh, others did, but I didn't do. She said the bank loan was okay. enough. Yeah, that's a mistake. So, so you have been refused once or twice? Twice, sir. And the oh, second one. Oh, what was the and what was the second? Second time? one is the major problem, sir. Because like, uh, second one, what happened is it took me three months to to get a reply, and uh, like I, I applied in July in. in september or something i got a mail from them saying that um, they think one of one of the documents i i submitted they think it's a fraud it's a, they think it's a fraud document okay. so yeah so they asked me so they asked they, they gave me 10 days time and asked me to you know make representations on this matter so yeah. we went we went to our consultant and asked asked her about this and the thing is what happened with the bank loan is sir uh she she said uh, it's it's going to take like two or three months to get a bank loan and she said if if we pay if we pay you know a third party person or something he can he can get us the bank loan sanctioned quickly but wait a minute wait a second stop i i did not understand what was what was the document that the embassy thought was fraudulent uh the so, bank documents of bank the loan bank, bank document loan. was bank fraudulent loan. oh and and was it why how how Uh, do do you know why is it is was fraudulent? We we don't know, sir. Because like, uh, <laughs> she she, she, she <laughs> we we gave we gave her the our house papers. We gave we gave the house papers to that person, and we paid him extra so that he gets the bank loan quickly. And he, wow, he, wow. he got the bank this loan is, papers. Stop! 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 Yes. Guys, just stop! Stop for just two two minutes. All right. Yes. I I have made hundreds and hundreds of videos regarding this these matters. where people are trusting their lives to consultants we don't know what is the background of these consultant we don't know what is the motivation of these people to undertake these cases because we are entrusting our lives to our information and documents to them if they make mistake we are screwed big time that means we are done uh if you are trusting somebody and if somebody is abusing that information or playing around with the documentations and should there be any discovery of misrepresentation by the new delhi high commission you are done you are gone for 5 years do you know this yes so that's that's I mean, the main uh, problem people people look people like you i mean people the, you are you are educated people you are not like labor class people who are just going there to drive a 
you know, some maybe tractor machinery or you don't know, understand. You got admission in a good university. UBC is a good standard university in Canada and UBC degrees are recognized and you will likely get a good job and your future is set. But somebody screws up and then your immigration future is done. This is serious. I mean, I, I, I cannot tell you how many times I have discussed these topics on my YouTube channel and, you know, people still, just like you, I mean, Still, there's so much of misinformation and ignorance. I mean, this is unbelievable. But anyway, what happened now? What is the last conclusion on what happened to the document now? So, so after that, we went and told her that you know that this is what the the you know the visa office said, and she's and she told us that uh, you know that the bank manager the guy spoke to has changed, and the new bank manager manager says he didn't sanction like you know the file didn't even go to the next level. Wow. And it is it is possible. I I don't know. I don't want to speculate. Is it possible that the that the bank loan itself was fraud? There's no bank loan. It's just an artificial that, paper. So that, somebody created. that's 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 exactly what we think, sir. Okay. We, we so not sure. so could you so, could you could you investigate and go to the bank and show to other higher people in yeah, bank and, and so find that, out whether what, this so is then, a then she then the same person he he got a different like that's that's when the same person he got a different bank loan bank loan letter. And then this time we confirmed with the manager also. We asked the manager to confirm if there's any loan sanction like this, and the manager also confirmed. He sent us a confirmation mail saying that uh, the loan is sanctioned. Okay. So we sent that to the uh, visa office and stuff. We we told that you know the manager, uh, he confirmed the loan and everything. We told them that. We told them that you know the previous bank loan, uh, the manager changed, and because of that the file didn't uh, you know it go, didn't go to the higher level. And this time, even the manager, uh, he confirmed the mail. But uh, unfortunately, they rejected uh, rejected mine in on August on November fifth. November fifth. On November fifth, they rejected. What is the reason of rejection? Uh, that only, sir. That um, that I, I did misrepresent misrepresentation of information with the fraudulent document. And and they have banned you for five yeah, years. Yeah, banned me for five years. Well, that's what I was I told. I did yeah. not know this, by the way. So I was telling you about a minute ago mm -hmm. yeah, that sure. this is likely to happen. And that, now you're screwed for five years, literally. I mean, there's nothing I can do about it. No, there's no lawyer. There's no consultant in Canada who can do anything. What they can do is, of course, they have to make money. They can say, look, we can go to the court, go to the federal court and apply for judicial review. But the the chances of this kind of mistake to be reversed in a judicial review are like one in one million. I mean, I... I don't think that you want to go that far or spend, you know, five to ten thousand dollars spending to go to federal court. It is a sheer waste of money and time for, you know, uh, challenging this misrepresentation because they are right. Uh, you know, uh, they found misrepresentation. Maybe, I don't know. I think the, I think it's likely that the document is still fraudulent. I mean, still not a genuine loan document. I, 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 I really cannot say. Now. You send the visa office the last letter by the manager's email that this is a uh, genuine, and still they did not accept it. No, sir, they didn't. What? What other? Do you? I'm asking you as a person to person. Do you have any proof that this is still a genuine document? Uh, only the bank. Only the bank manager confirmation. Sir. That's it. Like, <laughs> are we, 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 we well, sent. You know. You know. Wait a second. Wait. The bank. So the visa office even ignored the bank manager's declaration that this is genuine. Mm. Yes. Sir. So I. Uh, and so the thing is, that I, the doubt I have is, uh, when the first time I applied, it was the same bank loan letter. So the first time they didn't have a problem saying this is a fraudulent document. They had a problem the second time. The second time, it, second time they were saying it's fraud. The yeah. first time they didn't say it's fraud. Well, it is possible. I, you know, you know, don't, don't. Uh, read too much into the first time or second time it is possible sometimes the decision making of the visa did not reach that level so that we have to investigate that far it is possible that the first uh, instance itself they would have they would have thought they, it is just a speculation that the finances are not exhaustive that means we don't have the enough finances it is only in the second time when they when they maybe would have delved a little deeper and say look we have some finances, but the the source of finances is suspect, and that's why we have to. So don't take it too much into why it was not done the first time or second time. 
it will be caught sooner or later, which I, which most people don't understand. We cannot play games with the visa officers. We cannot lie. We cannot deceive them. We cannot do bad things like what, what happened this time. And clearly, if the consultant, you know, I think these, these people who are filling the forms or whatever, are they lawyers from Canada? Are they registered uh, ICCRC consultants from Canada? Who are these people who filled up these forms in Hyderabad? So they're just a consultancy who are uh, counselor uh, recommended. Well, well, we you need to somebody needs to file a report uh, with the consumer court or with the police or something, and for screwing up your future for five years, we need to we need to bring a lawsuit so that we you know we we should challenge them. This is what they did against you, willfully, voluntarily, without uh, you know, you know, not like somebody can say, look, I was ignorant. That's a different matter. But I think uh, it is impossible to do a fraudulent document without knowing that it is. So as far as your question to me, this misrepresentation was uh, started, I think, uh, two weeks ago, three weeks ago. Sir? The, the letter, the letter of refusal was th two weeks ago. Yeah, sir. Yeah. yeah. So there, there's literally nothing that you can do. I mean, I can if you if you have solid evidence, if you have solid, I don't know what you mean uh, by this manager's declaration. Looks like nothing to me. You need, what is the name of the bank? Andhra Bank, sir. Andhra Bank. Maybe uh, you go to the Andhra Bank headquarters. Maybe there's somebody there who's a CEO sitting on the top, you know, managing director or chairman. Okay. You go to them directly, walk into the office and say, look, your bank, somebody of your, uh, you know, one of the employees did this to me. I need the official, official statement from the bank right from the top. I, we don't care who the person is. Maybe he's the chairman of Andhra Bank. Maybe he's the manager. I don't know who who these people are. Otherwise, you take it to social media. You you put this across and you tell them that Andhra Bank did this to me. Let them pay you money. I would say that you know you should you should ask them for compensation. That you screwed my life. You need money for this. And you know this. If I were you, I would do this. All right. I just want to let you know because if they willfully did this, then then they should be punished. It's a different matter. You know, sometimes mistakes do happen. Sometimes people don't know. Uh, then, you know, that that could be condoned. I mean, in some cases, but if it is done purposefully, then, you know, I, I think somebody should 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 be uh, answering you. So if I were you, I would go directly to the top and, and confront them and tell them, look, this is what has happened to me. Tell me who's responsible and then can go from there. So, so right now there's absolutely nothing I can do. There's, there's a, if if the misrepresentation has been imposed upon you, then you are. Let me repeat this again. Then you are done for five years. Five years, bye bye Canada. Then then you are not going to Canada. That means you can go to some other country. You can go to America. You can go to Australia. You know. So you, the, the you thing can, is, I I heard that you know if you're. Uh, banned from Canada for five years, even the U.S. people are going to know it. So there's going to be problems oh, for you. Yeah, there's there's no doubt. All these countries will know about you. You are famous now all over the world. I mean, not <laughs> among all these top countries, they know they know that you are a bad guy. Bad means you did something bad in immigration. They can see your uh, profile. America can see it quickly, like within a second, as soon as you present your passport. Oh, this is the same guy. Look, look, bye bye. Sorry, uh, so, so I can't apply to US also. Well, you, like you, absolutely not. Well, no, no, no. I, that's what, what not what I said. What I said was they will know about you whether they still give you visa or not. It is upon them. That means you cannot hide from these countries: uh, America, England, Australia, New Zealand. They all can share and tap into each other's information. These are called five eyes. Five, one, two, three, four, five eyes. Eyes, okay. These are called five eyes. They are all connected to each other, one another. And, you know, if they want, if you go to Australia and if you type, you know, if you apply for the study visa and they, they will likely ask you a question, have you been refused? And when you say yes, Canada, boom, they can see everything what you did in Canada and they can, and then they can make their own mind. I'm not saying, I have so many cases where, People were refused for one country. Nonetheless, they will still give in. You know, it is their decision if they want to give. Sure, why not? So, so what do you think I should do when, while I'm applying? I, I only told. 
I, I already told you, you should go and confront the top management in Andhra Bank, tell them what happened. And if they if they don't, uh, you know, cooperate, then you you tell them you'll you will take them to Twitter or Facebook or, you know, just wherever that is. And with the name of that manager and stuff, and then, you know, you can you can make up your own uh, decision what you want to do. But I think uh, I'm still shocked to surprise that the last document, the last declaration by manager, whatever he said, still is not acceptable to the visa office. There's something missing somewhere. I don't know. Do Hindi speak Hindi? Yes, sir. Yeah, kind of. mein kala hai. There's something uh -huh. fishy somewhere, which I don't know why, where that is. So somebody in Andhra Bank would know, uh, you know, where's this letter, where's this loan, what is the loan number, and what are the terms and conditions. Uh, you know, and of course, you can talk to your immigration consultant also uh, to see. I don't know whether they are still able to help you or not. Uh, it is it is out of their hands now. I mean, they are they have they it is it is impossible to reverse the misrepresentation. One you get only ten days, just like you got. So once it is done, you cannot take it off. You that's that's it. It's not simple to just write it off. That means you are done. You're done. जो आपको वो पहले कहते थे ना कि वो रामचंद्र जी को चौदह साल का वनवास हो एक बार वनवास लग गया तो चौदह साल के बाद ही फिर वापस आएंगे उससे पहले नहीं आ सकते आप so no no i'm 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 asking is what do you think i should do if i apply for us visa well you you can apply you have to tell them that you were refused for canada for for uh, for this and this reason and they will find out on their own so so i should tell them the whole story and oh like, of know, course oh man you're asking me come on i mean so no like what, what, what yeah, kind yeah, of proof you know, should i you have to disclose you have to disclose each and everything whatever has happened to you so like what should i like you know show them proofs and everything like while i submit the documents like when i submit oh, you the just documents. you just tell them you just tell them the refusal letter from canada they will find out everything on your own you don't have to tell them yeah, the whole story. that's the problem right so if they find out everything on their own uh, if it's better if i tell them right that well, is you can you can tell them then you can you in your own uh, statement of explanation the sop you can describe what happened and was it your fault whose fault is and then you know open up your own cards and tell them what really happened and let them let them use their own discretion i you know i'm it, i'm 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 very sympathetic towards your towards your misery and plight and you know i hope i i can do anything for you but i'm telling you clearly and honestly there's nothing i wish i can help you there's nothing i can do and you you can call any lawyer anywhere in canada the biggest lawyer the smallest lawyer the call anybody they will not be able to take off this it, i mean I'm, I'm not saying impossible the odds are greatly you know against you any other question for me uh nothing sir like right now the only option i have is us like i apply to one us university and and when i heard about this saying that you know uh maybe because of canada even you know us visa might get you know affected and stuff so right now well, us us is like my only option right now well maybe maybe it's a, it's a god's message that canada is not for you maybe your america is, is is beckoning you instead of canada yeah. Yeah, that's it sir uh that's it nothing else Thank you yeah. very much. Good luck, and yes. this message applies to all your other three friends as well. By the way, yeah, sir, so they they got in, sir. They they somehow they somehow. Oh, got oh they they got the visa. Yeah. So how come how come they were use they were using uh, they, the same they, document? No, no, they they didn't get the bank loan. They did the GIC. Oh man, yeah. that's why I was asking earlier, man. I think you did you did a big screw up. If you would have done this, you would have got this. Oh yeah, yeah. So that's what so I. That's what that's what I was surprised. UBC is a very good university. Anybody who gets admission, they are likely to be a serious and and you know quite a, a status students. And it is a, it is unlikely that they will refuse visa for UBC. But I think you screwed this up on your own. It is it is entirely in your hands and karma. You know the karma, the lines. Those yeah. lines are talking. Those lines are not meant to take you to Canada right now after five years possible. That's it, sir. Yeah. Okay. Thank you. Yeah. All right. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. Take care. Thank you. Sir.